As part of building my electronic workbench, I wanted to be able to connect one cable of the transceiver I am working on and switch between an antenna, dummy load, and test gear. I decided to use an MFJ antenna tuner. I chose it for its tuning capabilities and the built-in dummy load. All I needed to do was add circuitry for an RF sampler and AM detector. I decided to use these SMA bulkhead connectors. I chose to mount them under the transceiver connector which will help with mounting the circuit. I started by drilling a pilot hole. Then I enlarged the hole using a 6mm bit. Next I drilled the holes for the mounting screw and mounted the connector. I should have spent a little more time and made sure it was straight. It's time for a thorough cleaning now. Although this method might seem unconventional, it's preferred technique among experienced repair professionals. I use a soft paintbrush and only dish detergent. You want to take your time and be gentle. Despite the appearance of vigor, I'm careful not to exert excessive pressure. Additionally, I prefer utilizing a smaller brush to reach into more confined spaces. Once I am done, I'll rinse it off and shake off most of the water. If you're going to wash your gear, you need to make sure to dry it. You could use an oven for this. Set the temperature 160 degrees and let it set for 20 minutes. Once it's done, turn off the oven and let it set a while longer. Pull it out and let it air dry a day or two before applying power. The circuit I chose for the RF sampler is a simple one to build using only a couple resistors and a capacitor. The half watt resistors bring the power down so you don't overload your test gear. The capacitor is used to block DC voltage from reaching your gear and is cheap insurance when working with older tube equipment. I chose to build it point to point style since there is not room for a PCB board and I wanted to keep the circuit close to the connectors. I chose to solder the circuit together outside of the tuner. Just under the connectors is a bolt I could use for ground. I then solder the capacitor to the SMA connector and finish by soldering to the transceiver connector. Here you can see the completed RF sampler circuit. Now I can connect my spectrum analyzer to the SMA connector to test the radio's output. Or I could connect it to my oscilloscope and view the waveform and even see AM modulation. Next I built the AM detector circuit like I did the RF sampler. This simple circuit uses 1A34A detector diodes to extract the modulating signal from an AM carrier wave. I mounted the SMA connector next to the RF sampler port. Then I installed the circuit using another existing bolt for ground and soldered to the transceiver connector and the new SMA connector. Here you can see both circuits in place. I can connect the oscilloscope to the SMA connector and view the modulated signal. Testing, one, two, three, four. Thanks for watching.